Hey, Cameron here with the C Butters Tech channel. Now, there's been a lot of talk about GAN chargers, and GAN chargers allow you to make your chargers much smaller. Uh, it's a different technology from what they traditionally put in chargers, and it allows you to reduce the form factor. We've seen that a lot with phone chargers, especially uh, Anchor and uh, a couple other companies out there are starting to use this because supposedly it's more efficient. I was curious how much more efficient is it and I wanted to look at it. We obviously can see a size difference here. I've got this laptop GAN charger. Uh, these are both 240 watt chargers and you can see that the traditional laptop charger is quite a bit bigger than this little guy here. However, um, it remains to be seen, is it actually more efficient? Hey, before we get too far into today's video, I wanted to share with you uh, something that some friends of the channel sent over, and it is from X-Ray Art. X-R-E Art, uh, I think it's X-Ray Art, just because, as you'll see in a second, what this looks like in the inside. So these are really cool uh, little items in here. So packaged really nicely. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look and see what's in here. Okay, so this is the exact same Game Boy Color that I had as a kid uh, that I played around with, same till color, and it shows all the exploded out items uh, that are inside the package of the Game Boy, all the controllers, um, every single item. This is a real uh, Game Boy uh, that they recycled and made it an art piece, which is a really cool way to keep uh, items like this out of the landfill. So really cool. Uh, I'm excited to have it have this in the C Butters Tech Studio. Uh, but if you want to check out X-Ray Art, uh, they've got really cool stuff on their uh, website that you can go look at their shop. Uh, they have not just like game consoles, handheld game consoles, they have phones, iPhones, Samsung Galaxies, uh, quite a wide selection of different devices that maybe you're interested in or have some sort of uh, nostalgia about. And it's a really cool art piece. I'm definitely going to hang this here in the studio just to have it around. So anyways, uh, check, check those guys out and we'll continue on to the video. Because uh, I don't know if you've ever felt your laptop brick when it's really working, but it can get very hot. Um, and I assume this can, it can get very hot as well. But is it actually using or producing less waste heat? So in order to do this, what I'm going to be doing is a test. I'm going to be metering the power at the wall and we're gonna be running a static test on my laptop, hopefully with the exact same conditions. Uh, and I'm gonna to have to test a couple times just to make sure that the test is valid. But I'm gonna look at how many watts from the wall are pulled when running say 150 watt load on the laptop versus this one, how much power is pulled from the wall when running 150 watt load on the laptop? Because any extra load that we see on the meter on the wall is going to mean that that is being produced as ex excess heat on the laptop charger. So let's go ahead and take a look and see if we can figure this out. Okay, so I've done a couple things here to make sure our test is valid. The first thing is I've waited until the battery is at 100% because we don't want the charge rate to affect what we're seeing on the power meter. Now right now we're using the ASUS power brick and we're going to run a GPU stress test. We are using a brightness level that is consistent. I know exactly what level it needs to be set at to be consistent between runs. I'm going to run the stress test. We're in performance mode on the laptop and we're going to see what the meter shows as we run this fur mark. Okay, so we can see the GPU is using right around 100 watts. And when the GPU is using 100 watts, we're seeing on the meter 135, 136. And it seems to be pretty stable at those levels. Okay, so 135 to 136, I'm gonna turn that off. We're gonna go ahead and plug in the GAN charger now at this point and see what the power from the wall looks like. So I'll just unplug this. 
So here's our GAN charger. Just plug it in. And it's got a plug for this laptop that matches the ASUS adapter. We're now plugged in, in performance mode again. The battery is still at fully charged state, which is good. We see our power meter working, and we're gonna go ahead and run this test again and see what we get. Okay, we're running at 100 watts, and we're seeing 135, 136, 137, 136, 138. There's 100 watts going on the GPU, and this is now pulling 137 to 138. Interesting here. Now we're going to have to go in reverse order at this point because what I can hear is the fans are starting to ramp up which is going to increase the power draw. So we'll have to switch back to the ASUS adapter and see if we're seeing something similar when the fans are running. So I'm going to let it run for a second, let the, let the heat soak in a little bit, let the fans kind of get consistently running up. We're still seeing 100 watts. 140 to 141 on this GAN charger. So let's stop it. Let's plug the original ASUS charger into the laptop. And while the fans are still kind of ramped up, let's run this. It's now pulling 100 watts, and we are seeing 138. We'll let it run for a second because the fans are not quite as loud as they were. Uh, we'll let them ramp up a little bit. There we go. We're now hearing the fans uh, be a little bit noisier. But still, we're looking at about 2 watts less. This is not what I expected, but this is the result that we're seeing nonetheless. This charger, the original charger, actually seems to be more efficient than the GAN charger. The GAN's lighter and easier to carry around, of course, but it seems to be producing just as much waste heat as the original brick would. So that's pretty interesting to see. Now, yeah, the, yeah, the GAN was pulling 141 during this test, with the, and when the fans are ramped up, it went to 141, and this is only doing 138, 139. Really interesting to see that. What I think it could be is, if you look at this charger, in addition to the DC output, uh, it also has these two USB-C outputs, 100 watt, and those are live whenever that's plugged in. So maybe there's a little bit of residual power consumption to have those ports be powered. I wouldn't say that it's definitive that GAN is not as efficient while being smaller. Uh, it's It may just be that the circuitry is set up a little bit different uh, on these ports. Not definitive, but it's good to know that even though you're getting a smaller laptop charger, it may or may not be more efficient. So kind of interesting. If you have any thoughts or other things you want me to test, let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching. Hey, I just forgot one thing. Uh, so if you're interested in this little slim GAN charger that works with lots of different laptops, Asus, HP, Dell, it's got all sorts of adapters for pretty much any laptop out there. Uh, this is a Slim Q product, uh, and I actually have a discount code if you're interested in this device. Uh, this is the 240 uh, DC power delivery charger, and they have a few different options. There's a 150, there's even less, and there's even higher. There's a 330 watt. So uh, using my uh, link in the description, you can get a 10% discount. Uh, but I really like this thing. It's much easier to carry around, and you get two additional USB-Cs, 100 watt powered. Uh, on the side to charge your phone at the same time as your laptop. So it's a real space saver for sure. 
Uh, so if you're interested in that, follow the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.